Good morning, I'm Matt with Medina Minute. Today we're going to stop in 23 Public Square, known as Town Square Commons. Now this building has quite a bit of history in Medina. You know that we've had two fires in town, but this particular building was built in 1871 and was known as the Union Block. Some of the fun history is this was the original location of A.I. Root. Now Mr. Root started out as a jeweler, but then got into the bee industry and became a historic part of Medina. Today we're going to visit with some of the business owners inside and learn a little bit more about the history of Medina Square and what makes it tick. Well today we're sitting down with Debbie Stevens from Candy Apple & Co. Good morning. Good, morning. Good to see you again. So Candy Apple & Co, you have this beautiful boutique gallery here in Town Square Commons. But then there's Candy Apple Co and then there's all these other lines underneath. So tell me all the businesses that you guys have. <laughs> all right, so we are actually, we started as a landscape company. Um, okay. The heart of our business is actually specialized pruning. Okay. So that is what started what we do now. What does that mean, specialized pruning? My husband grew up on an apple farm. Okay. So his whole childhood up until adulthood, they pruned apple trees year-round, gotcha. especially all winter okay. long. And um, with that, there's a just a special technique in doing it to keep okay. everything at its healthiest point. Mm -hmm. And that transfers over to anything. So with landscaping, um, a big part of the foundation of what started us was the pruning to refurbish. Okay. And um, a lot of landscaping unknowingly goes unnoticed sure. and is overgrown. So that's really what started. Okay, gotcha. So that the pruning is at the heart of it. Gotcha. So in Candy Apple & Co. in the boutique, you have candy apples. Mm -hmm. Was that an outgrowth of, of your pruning the apple trees and there's the apple tie-in? How, yeah. how, how does pruning a tree and having amazing canned <laughs> apples, how do those go together? So we've just over the years evolved into what we are now. There were a lot of things we would like um, envision doing yeah. and every year as we grew a little bit, um, we would take that next step and that next step okay. and our landscape business grew and as that grew we opened a nursery and as that grew um, we wanted to have a boutique alongside that okay and in the midst of that in the back of our minds um, we just always thought it would be like a neat addition to do apples along with it so do you guys have like a sweet tooth is this a, <laughs> a passion you, you sit at home like oh let's try, let's do caramel but then let's dip it in fruit loops or something it's become that it's become where I, I'm yeah. definitely dreaming of the like next flavor apples. all the time That's right hysterical um, but um, it was definitely just the apple background which okay. became like our logo, um, yeah. which tells a story in itself, at least for us it does. Sure. And then I grew up doing candy. We did a lot of candy oh, growing okay. up just with my mom and um, some of our neighbors. We would do it at all the holidays. And it just kind of evolved into that. Yeah. So. Now, did you grow up in Medina? You're from the area? I grew up in Lakewood. OK, very cool. Yeah, I've been here for almost 20 years. Yeah, mm -hmm. and what about your husband? He grew up in the Western New York area okay. and has been here. So how did you end up in Medina then? I'm always fascinated <laughs> how right? people end up in this little town, which really isn't a little town. Yeah. Um, the school district was one okay. of the main reasons. And then, sure. um, in all honesty, coming into the square the first time, yeah. it was it painted such a beautiful picture that... You thought you were in a Hallmark movie, didn't you? I definitely knew I was home. So. Yeah. Oh, that's cool. That's <laughs> yeah. cool. So in, in the boutique, you have the candy apples. Um, what's, what's your best seller? You know what? One of our best sellers, and ironically, it's a best seller for adults, is our Pop Rocks. Okay. Really? Yeah. We have a lot of adults that come back is for the Pop Rocks. that nostalgia thing? Pro probably. Awesome. <laughs> but what else? You have a, a lot of different things in the store. Tell me a little bit more about the different products you have, because okay. it's, it's pretty eclectic. Yeah. But it's kind of, it's pretty cool how it all works together. It's been interesting when I do our social media, because one day I'm posting skincare, and the next day right. it's apples. Yeah. Um. So that's been a little bit of like a probably a mental challenge for me. Okay. Um. You know what? We started off just. Uh, Things that we we like, obviously, but a lot of what we carry are things that we have used through the years, yeah. or that we had. And when we started to have this vision of a boutique, we would always, like, be like, oh, one day, like, we know we want to carry that in the boutique. So, 
Um, a lot of it's just things that we have enjoyed. Yeah. yeah. How did you end up here in, in, in the square in Medina? What brought you here? Uh, be careful what you wish for. That's what, that's okay. what I tell okay. everybody. So our, our landscape office is just south of here. It's about a mile and a half south of the square. Okay. So that was our original boutique location, which we still have a boutique down there now. Um, and then, in all honesty, I would leave that boutique and drive through the square to run up, you know, to the store, yeah. get dinner, groceries, sure, whatever. Sure. And um, I would see everybody in the square, and then there's so many events, and then um, I'd always, you know, we were just far enough away that nobody was going to walk down to us. Right. And then I made a comment one time that I would love to have a window to decorate, and um, a lot of times when I say something off the cusp, my husband has he's the one with like so much vision that yeah. he made the call there was a spot available oh, really? and once okay. we saw the spot we knew we had to do it so yeah. it was it wasn't planned um even though it was kind of dreamt about okay yeah so is that kind of the partnership between you and your husband running all these businesses you have the dream he takes it and makes it happen he always knows you how to get it done together. yeah absolutely it's cool yeah i'm guessing throughout the store you get a lot of different people that come in so they come in and there's skincare, there's candy apples, there's artwork, there's jewelry. When people come in, what, what do they say about Medina or how do you explain this town to them? It definitely um, is a customer feedback. Yeah. And I'm thinking the same thing that they're saying, in all honesty, okay. that's unexpected. Okay. A lot of people come to Medina and they're pleasantly surprised by um, all of the businesses, yeah. there's so many different kinds, and there's just so many um, businesses to pop into that um, carry unique things, and mm -hmm. I hear that a lot, that it's just a fun place to come to, and that um, it's not like other towns. Sure, and I sure. hate to use the word smaller town. Um, yeah. But no, I understand. Yeah, very unexpected for people when they, they come and they're okay. not used to the area. When, when they are from out of town, what are your recommendations? What is it Debbie says you need to? Like, where do they need to go eat? Where do they need to go shop? What do they need to see? Um, you know what? I just love the square in itself. Okay. So um, just wandering around the square. Yeah. And honestly, daily we'll have people that come into the store through this, you know, come into this building that aren't even aware that anything in here exists. Yeah. So um, just them being able to wander, like, through this building alone and then just through the, some of the other businesses is always oh, cool. Yeah, and um, you know, some of my favorite things to do are right on the square. Yeah. So like what? I'll fire it up is one of our favorite yeah. things to do. Just yeah, as the kids grew up and just sometimes the holidays it's just a fun time to spend time together. Yeah. So I'll have a lot of um, moms that come through. Some are from the area but a lot of them are not and a lot of times they're shopping for a daughter. Um, mm -hmm. And then we'll, I'll get to hear like their stories, and um, I always cool. suggest that as something fun for them to do because it's yeah. time together. Sure. But you're also like creating something, and yeah. Yeah. Oh, so. that's interesting. So you have children. Mm -hmm. Do they come up and spend time in the store with you, or what do they think about about mom having the store? They, <laughs> they love it actually. They yeah. are really enjoying the whole caramel apple process. Okay. Because that's and really. How old are your kids? Twenty-five and twenty. Okay. So. Um, Neither are around here often enough. Okay. But when they when they come, yeah. Yeah, but they're not in there helping you dip apples and stuff. <laughs> My son's in Boston, so he's only here once or twice a year. Yeah. Um, our daughter goes to OU right now, mm. so when she's home, she helps, and she's actually um, she helped in the beginning because she was you know home for an extended period of time, kind of fine tune some techniques. It was a yeah. little bit of a learning process at first, so yeah, she sure. she played a good part of that. I'm just I'm fascinated by the candy apple part. Yeah. I mean, so how how do you decide what flavors you want to do, or or how do you even? Yeah. Tell me about that process. Okay. So, like I said, it's become a huge passion of mine, and it's really the part of the business now that um, we have the square, and I've had some time to spend with the apples that I'm focusing on growing, and that okay. we are. So we started with like your classic flavors, everything you would just imagine, like Oreo, yeah. M and M. Um, and then as time went on, we would just like come across something while we were at the grocery store. And I'd be like, oh, that's a, that'd be a great topping. Yeah. And what's really happened, um, you almost, there's a, almost any, to, like any topping will work. Sure. And it's been kind of surprising that way that once you have like 
the tart apple with the, the caramel and the sweetness, yeah. you can almost put anything on top of it. So we have a few new things in the not too distant future that I think everybody will enjoy. Do, do you take public requests? Like, do customers say, oh, that looks really good, but have you ever thought of X, Y, Z? We do. And if so, what's been the craziest topping someone has suggested? You know, I haven't had anything too out of the ordinary, okay. but I've enjoyed... So not like a BLT, caramel apple, or... No, but we do do a bacon one. Oh, wow. yeah. <laughs> that's that's. Been I just good. don't get the whole bacon thing. Is it good? You know what? Okay, so I'm not a huge bacon lover, and okay. what I have found with the apples, um, things that I normally wouldn't like go into a restaurant and order, <laughs> once it's on the apple... <laughs> it's good, yeah. The apple it, makes everything good. It is, it does. That's hysterical. And we do samples. We like we'll almost okay. always have samples out, or if we don't have them out and somebody wants a sample, we'll always yeah. cut up samples. You almost have to taste one to kind of understand like anything's going to work on it. That's true. Okay. Mm -hmm. So you have the boutique. You have the landscaping company. When do you have downtime? Like, what do you do in your five minutes of spare time? Yeah. How do you relax? What's what's Debbie's personal hobbies? You know what? One of the probably first go to is we do like to work out. We work okay. out at the rec center, oh, cool. and that's right. just a good way to unwind. Sure. Um, but we enjoy it, and then we spend a lot of family time, um, time in the yard. Are you big gardeners at home? My husband is the bigger gardener okay, than I am. Yeah, he's yeah. he's the one. <laughs> His way of decompression, decompressing is working in the yard. Yeah, I get that. It's, yeah. I think it's very therapeutic. Thank you so much for sharing a little bit about Absolutely. the boutique with us and telling it about it. I, uh, I'm curious to see what flavors you keep coming up with. <laughs> and we'll keep watching the Facebook feed for that. Perfect, thank you. Debbie, thank you so much. Thank it's always you. a pleasure. <laughs>